Okay, I'm joined by Sean Murphy from Nafina, head of the Go Ahead Dublin Senior A hurling final this weekend against Kimmelcook Croaks. Uh, plenty of excitement, Sean, around the club this week, I'm sure, ahead of a first ever county final for the club. Yeah, it, look, it's really exciting. It's a big event for our club. Obviously, we've never been here before. Um, we've had good success in football over the years, but yeah, no, it's really exciting. We're looking forward to it. This is a young group of players that you have in the team, I guess. There's been a lot of um, excitement around this group of players for the last number of years, and obviously getting to a first senior final now uh, is kind of testament to, to the work that's gone in at the club over the last few years. Yeah, 100%. A lot of it's down to kind of the juvenile setup, I would say. Like, I think Nafina, 3,000 members now at this stage. Um, a lot of resources have gone into developing the underage teams over time, and now we're starting to see the, kind of the fruits of that over the last few kind of years and weeks. I know there was disappointment last year. Obviously, you lost in the in the semi final last year. Um, one big addition since last year has been Liam Rush into into the panel uh, this year. What has he brought to the setup, both uh, from a, on the pitch in terms of his talent, but also in terms of experience in the dressing room as well? Yeah, a lot. Like Rushy's kind of like a natural born leader. He's kind of fit in really well both on and off the pitch. But he's just brought that kind of experience with him. Uh, you know, he's been there and done that at kind of a high level. So yeah, he's been a great addition so far. Uh, how do you assess your season so far? You obviously won the league here in Parnell Park a, a couple of months ago and you're in the county final, so it's been a pretty decent year for you so far. Yeah, yeah, it's been a great year so far and hopefully it's not over yet. Like We're just very focused on the job at hand. We're not trying to let the occasion kind of get the best of us. We just need to go out on Saturday and, and perform and kind of express ourselves. So looking forward to it. And what do you expect from Chemical Croaks on Saturday? Uh, a challenge, you know, a big test. You know, Croaks have been there and done that before. You know, they're a great team, a lot of respect for Kilma Code and uh, yeah, they'll put it up to us for sure, but we're absolutely ready for the challenge. And finally, there's been plenty of excitement around the club as well. I know this week there's plenty of flags and, and, and colours and bunting out around the Moby Road ahead of the final on Saturday. I'm sure you'll be looking for a big crowd here on Saturday evening as well to, to try and cheer you on and push it maybe over the line. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll get it as well. Like It's a community effort from the FINA, as you said. The, the bunting and flags and banners that have been printed over last week. It's great. It's great. Like We don't just play for ourselves. It's, kind of, it's, a, it's bigger than that. It's a community effort. So yeah, can't wait.